Glory to the newborn King. Good evening. Let us begin our celebration with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as we all know, that today is the last day of December and also the last day of 2020 as we approach and welcome the new year 2021 on the solemnity of the holy mother of god we pray that through the intercession of holy family jesus mary and joseph to guide us to walk with us and to accompany us until we reach heaven and live forever with our Heavenly Father. Let us live with hope and peace in New Year 2021. So coming together as God's holy family, and let us now call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Lord of time and of eternity. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your spirit is within our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Virgin Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to, to receive the order of life of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you 
and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exalt because you rule the peoples of inequity, the nations on the earth, your guide. May the God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and May all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. In the past, alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, o Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that they had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, as we gather together as a community in the house of God to celebrate the end of the year of 2020, I encourage us to not forget to say thank you. Thank you to this year of 2020. Most importantly, to give thanks to our God, to our family, relatives, and friends, 
and to everyone who were always faithful to walk and to journey with us in good times and in bad times. And as we approach the year of 2021, on the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, let us not also forget to say thank you and to say I am happy and grateful to welcome the year of 2021. Each one of us doesn't know what is going on with us in the year of 2021, but we know for sure that God is always with us in every step along the way until we reach heaven to meet and to live forever with our God. Jesus Christ. On this solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, we get a little glimpse that God wants to, for us to be part of God's plan of salvation. Like Mary, we are called to present Jesus, our Savior, to the world. Like Mary, we are invited to always put our trust and hope in God's loving hands. Many theologians said that the quickest path to the sacred of Jesus is through the immaculate heart of Mary. As a mother who always loved her children, we are called to turn to Mary in good times and in bad times. Father Ed Broom, a Roman Catholic priest, in one of his reflections about Mary, says this in quote, when a child falls down and craps, craps in his knee, his mother runs to his aid, lifts him up and kisses and bedits the wound. Whenever we fall, our lady is always ready to pick we up out of mud, clean we up, change our clothes, and help we start again with renewed hope. Today, Mary shows us that in her affliction, suffering, and disappointment in her life, she never gives up to show up. She never gives up to give her life to God. And she never gives up to live her life with hope, love, peace, and kindness. Because heaven is not death. And because God is not silent. For some of us, we may have not seen the light, the hope and the peace in our lives in the year of 2020 because of so many reasons. But as Christians, we are called to always live our life with hope, trust. But, at, but it is always the question before us, will we continue to give thanks to our God and show up when we cannot reach our expectation in the year of 2021? Will we continue to live our life with hope, love, peace, and trust when things are not going to our, our way? As we approach and welcome the year of 2021, and as we make our way through the life, let us open our hearts and mind to call out to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph to walk with us and to accompany us every step along the way until we reach heaven to meet and to live with our God. I wish you a happy new year. 2021, 
and may this year of 2021 bring much joy, peace, love, and laughter in you and in your family. Happy New Year. Let us all stand with confidence. Let us now profess our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, assure that we are always blessed with God's tender mercy we ask now for God's merciful response to our needs. For the church, that we may be like Mary, treasuring God's words and deeds in our hearts and drawing wisdom from them for our daily lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this world day of peace, that people will search their hearts and find a way to reject hatred, resentment, and division, and to embrace peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack hope, for the homeless, the unemployed, and the lonely, may the promise of the Lord's faithfulness bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For new mothers, that they may realize God's blessing in their infant children and may receive the care and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing on our faith community in the new year, may Christ who came in flesh to save us be born anew in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will heal the sick, comfort the grieving, strengthen the health care workers, and guide the vaccine distribution and administration. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of our parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that God will bring healing and comfort to the sick. For the Barrera family, Alush Koskat, Greg Walgenbach, Chris Today, Laura Marshburn, Fred March, Eileen Wilson, Mary Garza. For those in our parish book of the sick, particularly those with COVID-19. For our Bishop Kevin Van, Terry and Mary Hodgden, Isidro Sesmas and family, Arceli Camarón and family, the Marquez family, Ruth Block and family, Jean Henderson, Maria and Celia Rodriguez, the Miguel Romo family, Annalie Amazon, Maria Rojas, Paul Rojas, Deacon Jose Manuel Chavez and family, Andrea Garcia, Tomas. Uh, Molina and Bonito Perez, Pena, the Reynoso family, Erica Vasquez, Richard and Kathy Barajas, Marshall Andrews. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in faith, may they soon rejoice in God's presence. For recently deceased Carlos Ermategui, Olga Marina Aguirre Vasquez, David Martinez, Tony Gallegos, Jr., 
Roberto Mendoza, Maria Reyes Rodriguez, Rose Zabado, Rose Zabo, Hector Rodolfo Rico Flores, and for those who have died from the COVID-19 virus, Alberto Rotega, Joaquina Delgado, Gerardo Rios, Charles Barnes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, you have blessed us throughout the ages. Continue to bless us as we make these prayers through the intercession of our Holy Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Our sacrifice is ready. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all us of the church. O God, who in your kindness Begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment. Grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the and Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the blessed of ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, 
She conceived your only begotten son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him all the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate, sorry, you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took the bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look, look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyr, Saint Philip and Itzi, here in our church, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation 
we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's share with each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who are participating on this Mass, let us remember them, the prayer of the, of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, My Jesus I, believe I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. That you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be 
separated from us. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. Let us pray. We who receive this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh God, grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, I wish you a happy new year. Go and celebrate. Okay, <laughs> go and celebrate. Happy new year. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We're going to sing Hail Holy Queen and Throne Above. Hail Holy Queen and Throne Above. Oh.